Interstate 66. No relation to Route 66. Interstate 66 is the only two-digit interstate that enters Washington, D.C. and actually has exits within the district. I know about I-95. So, it's the only road that you get this kind of awesome view in without getting on a three-digit interstate. I-66 serves the Washington and Virginia metro area, Northern Virginia, and connects it with the I-81 corridor. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places that they are signed to go to. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, give us a thumbs up right there. And uh, if you really dig it, why not subscribe? Thanks a lot. All right, we're going to talk about eastbound I-66 first off. I-66 begins here at the intersection with I-81. It is signed for Front Royal and Washington initially. We see once we're on the road, Front Royal 8 miles, Arlington 70, Washington 74. After the Front Royal exit, we get Arlington 63, Washington 67. A little further down the road, we get Arlington 38, Washington 42. Amazing that we're like 42, maybe 41 miles away from the Lincoln Memorial at this point, and it's still a two-lane rural road. Here's the intersection with US 15, and this is the end of the two-lane section of I-66. We see here it is still two lanes as we go under the bridge under US 15, and now all of a sudden it is four lanes on the other side of that bridge, so we now get a much larger freeway as we head into the North Virginia Washington suburbs. There's a lot of construction on I-66, so unfortunately I don't get that good of overhead signs in this episode. But here's the exit for Dulles Airport. Here we approach 495, the Capitol Beltway. And interesting things will happen with I-66 here. Here is our exit for 495 North Tyson's Corner and Baltimore. 66 at this time is sometimes a toll road and sometimes a free road, depending on the time of day. When it's rush hour inbound toward Washington, it is a toll road. And I believe it is always only a carpool road. You have to have two or three people in the car in order to use it. Also, trucks are not allowed beyond here, so all trucks have to exit at 495. Here we are inside the Beltway, and this still looks pretty rural here, even though we are very much in the DC metro area at this point. Here we are in Arlington. We have an interchange that goes to 395, although 66 and 395 do not actually intersect. And the exit for the Pentagon is coming up as well. Here we get Virginia 110 South for Pentagon and Alexandria 66 East Washington still. There is no Welcome to Washington, D.C. sign, unfortunately, but we are kind of entering a new state. I looked at the maps and I discovered this line that's right here on the road actually is the dividing line between D.C. and Virginia. Here we go over to Roosevelt Island and we have a nice view of the Potomac River. And of course, I will give you a closer look at that sign. We see we are now at 66 East E Street and then the exit for US 50 Constitution Avenue downtown right here. Here's the view we started with. Definitely awesome to be able to see the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument right here on a two digit interstate highway. Here's the exit for Constitution Avenue and we're following toward E Street. Right here, the ending branches of I-66 kind of branch off. So the Whitehurst Freeway is sort of the main line of 66 E Street is sort of a spur of 66, so we're going to follow that one first. We do see that there is something of a freeway running here right through downtown Washington, although it's not very long. And now we see expressway ends 1,100 feet. And as we come off this ramp, we get an expressway ends sign. And here is the final ending of it here at E Street and 20th Avenue, I want to say, maybe 20th Street. All right, let's cut back to where we were before we chose our adventure on right. Let's choose our adventure on the left, the Whitehurst Freeway. So we have an intersection with Rock Creek Parkway and the road that will take us to the Whitehurst Freeway, which is US 29. Here's a look at the Watergate Hotel. Hey. 66 goes through this underpass and drops down to maybe two lanes, maybe one lane, tough to tell there, but it gets very narrow here. 
In D.C., a lot of the signs seem to be covered with ivy and other kinds of plants. Uh, but it looks like to the right, Pennsylvania Avenue, and to the left, it's going to the Whitehurst Freeway. And here we merge onto US 29, the Whitehurst Freeway. All right, let's talk about westbound I-66. Here we are on the Whitehurst Freeway, and we see there's going to be a sign, West 66 E Street and Kennedy Center. So the initial control city for 66 is just E Street. And here we have the interchange, 29 going to K Street to uh, the lobbyists and 66 heading toward E Street. We see the Watergate Hotel again as we go under Virginia Avenue in this large tunnel. DC, eh? I've been to DC a lot of times. DC is cool for sure. I like going to DC. It's a great place to visit. Here we have the exit for E Street and 66 West gets no control, just West. We pass the Kennedy Center as we go through here, so that's pretty cool. Here we come back to the Theodore Roosevelt Bridge with signs for 66 and 50. All right, let's take a look from the E Street Expressway. First off, it's kind of interesting getting on this expressway from E Street itself. There's no signage for it at all. It doesn't tell you it's 266. It doesn't tell you anything. You just get Kennedy Center for E Street if you stay on it, but no sign for getting onto the freeway here. You see a sign here, Whitehurst Freeway, all trucks next right. So they want trucks to get off before 66 in Virginia where trucks are not allowed. And now we get West 66 to Virginia, no trucks. So we do get kind of a control state here. And as we weave around, we get a sign for 66 West next right with no control city. Here we are back where we split off and we have this bridge again, heading toward the bridge over the Potomac. Crossing the Potomac, we get a nice view of the Arlington skyline. And then eh, this is what passes for a control city on 66 in DC. We get West 66 West Roslyn which is not even a city, it's just a neighborhood in Arlington. Here's our line again crossing from DC back into Virginia. Virginia does give us a welcome sign, whereas DC did not, and we get a nice view of the Arlington skyline right there at that sign. And we see West 66 toll, easy pass only. There's no toll booths. It is required to have easy pass in order to drive this section. Getting on to 66, there's not really any control cities either. It just tells you toll lanes west 3 to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and you need an easy pass. Here we're approaching 267, the Dulles Airport Freeway, which is also the way to get to North 495 for Baltimore. There'll be a South 495 exit coming up here, which I forgot to take a picture of. Here is a random residential street or a surface street merging with 66. And again, we have no control cities on it at all, just information about the tolls. And same thing here. That's pretty much all we get. So we don't get any control cities on 66 at this point. This is on the Beltway. We get a sign for 66 West Manassas and Front Royal. So that's the first time we've seen it. I did not see a pull through on 66 itself. So that's why I had to get onto the Beltway here. And at surface streets on this road, once we're past the Beltway, we get 66 East Washington, 66 West Front Royal. So Front Royal is what they go with. On 66 itself, we get Front Royal 35, Strasburg 41. Here is the Front Royal interchange, and in Front Royal, it's Washington and Strasburg are your two choices. Past Front Royal, this is a pretty good mileage sign. We get Strasburg 8, Winchester, which is where you get to north on 81, 21, Roanoke, where you get to south on 81, 169. So I like that sign, that's pretty good. Here is our choice. South 81 Roanoke, North 81 Winchester. Both were marked as exits on the previous sign, but then we see North 81 is exit 1B, and the main line seems to be what's going to South 81. All right, let's take a look at Todd's The Way It Should Be. Eh, this is a tough one. So, eastbound 66, easy peasy right there, eastbound 66, Washington. That's all you need. Westbound, though, well, westbound... Not really sure what we should do westbound. Let's talk about westbound 66. What should the control city be? I came up with a few options. So we got Strasbourg, because that is the city where 81 and 66 meet, going south on 81. Front Royal, it's sort of the entrance to Shenandoah National Park, so it's something of a major exit. 
Middletown is actually the closest city to the 6681 interchange, but it's only like a thousand people. Roanoke is the bigger city south on 81 and is probably maybe the best choice because it's the next city of any size that we're going to pass. Charleston is the next state capital. You'd have to get on I-64 for that, but that could sort of work. I think Roanoke's better, though. Winchester is the northbound 81 control city, but Winchester, again, not nearly as big or as famous as Roanoke, also a little bit out of the way. Pittsburgh, if you're in Manassas, Virginia, taking I-66 to its end actually is the fastest way to Pittsburgh, but it's a convoluted route from there, so that's not great. And if you're actually in D.C., way better to just take 270 to 70. Shenandoah National Park, I think that might be a good one too because that's a hugely popular national park. And Front Royal is kind of the gateway to that. A lot of people go to Shenandoah, and especially because it's so close to D.C., Baltimore, not too far from Pittsburgh. So it gets a lot of visitors every year. I've been. It's fantastic. Charlotte, eh, why not? It's... Uh, the next, you know, major, major city you would get to kind of following 66 with some help from 81 and 77. And then uh, my YOLO one, eh, Los Angeles. Hey, why not? If you're going to L.A., you'd take I-66 to get there. I think I'd probably go with Shenandoah out of those and then Roanoke after the Front Royal exit. But yeah, it's really tough to figure that one out. All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Control City Freak. It's our first adventure sort of into the Northeast. Yay! And we will come back to the similar region next week with I-68. Thanks again for watching. My name is Todd, and keep on trucking.